So it's time for a brand new segment here on the Radio Wasteland Records YouTube channel. Recently, I've had this fascination with artificial intelligence, more commonly referred to as AI. Before we go too much further, yes, I've seen all the sci-fi movies, so I know this doesn't end well for the human race. But in the interim, there's no reason that we can't enjoy some of the more fun aspects of this emerging technology. More specifically, there are now platforms out there that give more of a consumer level open source access to artificial intelligence. Now, I got this idea after watching a video on the YouTube channel of Grady Smith. He covers all things country music. He had asked this open source AI program to write a country music song in the style of X. And then he was actually fairly impressed with the outcome. Now, as scary as that is, that's a whole subject for a whole other channel talking about how the uh, big record labels will probably swoop in to cut out the artists and just have AI write all of their music. But I thought, what if we took this AI application and turned it to the other end of the musical marketing spectrum and asked AI to write music reviews? What you're about to see on our channel is a series of music reviews created completely by AI. What I did was go to the open source platform called ChatGPT and ask it to write a music review on X. From there, I took that file and fed it into another AI program that specializes in text to speech. The audio file created, the only human interaction in this process is me editing this video together with the elements created by artificial intelligence. So until such time as AI inevitably will take over the universe and destroy all of us humans, let's just enjoy this series of AI record reviews from the wasteland. As a language model AI, I don't have personal opinions. However, I can provide a neutral and informative review of the music of Greta Van Fleet. Greta Van Fleet is a rock band from Michigan that has gained notoriety for their revivalist approach to classic rock. They are often compared to the likes of Led Zeppelin, have been praised for their blues-inspired guitar solos, powerful vocal performances, and energetic live shows. However, their music has also been met with criticism, with some saying that their sound is too derivative of their influences and lacks originality. The band's music features a heavy use of classic rock elements such as distorted guitar riffs, powerful drumming, and operatic vocals. Their debut album, Anthem of the Peaceful Army, showcases their abilities as a live band, with many of the tracks featuring long instrumental sections that allow the band to showcase their skills as musicians. The album is a perfect representation of what the band is all about, showcasing their love for classic rock and their ability to bring those sounds into the modern era. However, despite their impressive musicianship, many have criticized the band for their lack of originality. Greta Van Fleet's music is heavily influenced by their classic rock predecessors, with many songs sounding like direct imitations of classic rock tracks. This has led some to question whether the band is merely a nostalgia act, lacking the creativity and originality needed to truly stand out in the music industry. In conclusion, Greta Van Fleet's music is a love letter to classic rock, but it also raises questions about originality and the role of nostalgia in contemporary music. Their impressive musicianship and powerful live performances are undeniable, but their lack of originality may hold them back from truly making a lasting impact on the music industry. However, despite these criticisms, Greta Van Fleet has certainly gained a large following, and it will be interesting to see where their music takes them in the future.